Hello. Welcome back. And as always, I hope you're doing well. Right. We're going away next week, guys. But I have already made the Steve Kerridge video part two. And that's going to be here Wednesday. I've already made the video. And I'm in the process of uploading it. It's probably going to take about four or five hours. Because we still have no internet. What? Open reach are absolutely useless. But I'm not going to go on a rent. I'm not going to go on a rent. But, you know, two weeks now. And they said they were going to come next Friday. So that would have been nearly three weeks. Clown shoes. I would never use them again. And I certainly would never recommend them. They're rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Anyway. So, I will cover the Steve Kerridge comments and bits and pieces in the video that comes out Wednesday. But I'm pretty pleased with part two. So, I'll save that till Wednesday. Right, I've been meaning to do this. While I was at Steve's last week, I came home and I had a pile of gifts from you lot, some of my subscribers. So I thought I would do this in three parts. It'll all be in one video, but I'm going to film it in three parts because, as you can see, I've got that camera there, that camera there, and that one up there. So it's kind of crazy in here at the moment. Anyway, let's start opening some of these bits and see what people have sent me. Guys, you really don't have to. I'm kind of overwhelmed with the amount of stuff I've been given recently. And the videos that I've had planned keep sort of going back because I feel obliged to open up these wonderful gifts that you're sending me. So, you know, if I don't get Game of Death 2 made straight away, you kind of know why. I am going to do that at some stage, but I've just been so snowed under and new projects are coming in all the time. Like I said, and I'm a one-man band as well. So anyway... The first one, Stripey Rambles on the front now, is from my good friend in Scotland, Peter Reynolds. Pete's got a great YouTube channel and a room that I could spend a month in, looking for his paraphernalia, his books, his models. The room's just Bruce Lee, wall-to-wall -wall Bruce Lee. And I will link it down below, so if any of you guys like Bruce Lee and like to see all different things rare magazines I'd be here all day trying to list it check out Peter's channel but anyway he's kindly sent me this so I'm going to open it right now and see what Peter's kindly sent me whoa Mate, he's wrapped it up nice as well. It's not one gift. Right, I think I'm gonna have to lose this. It's warm in this little room. Right, let's have a look. You see this here? I used to have this. The Bruce Lee Scrapbook. Part of the Kung Fu Monthly books that I used to put out. Bruce Lee in action. The unbeatable Bruce Lee. £1.25. <laughs> Mate, these, this is awesome. I have been meaning to start collecting these, but part of the process. My collection recently has exploded. Let's have a little look through. Kung Fu Monthly Society. Do you know what I love? You can tell this has been read and reread and reread again, and the pictures have been looked all over. This is awesome. It did used to get you excited about it, looking at all these in the old days. Great photo. <laughs> Thanks for this, mate. It, this one brings back a lot of memories. It really does. I appreciate it. So what we got here then? The Book of Kung Fu. 100 pages packed with photographs and articles featuring superstars of Kung Fu. Bruce Lee, Angela Mao, and David Carradine. Although, now we might frown upon him. I mean, I like him in Kill Bill, obviously. 
but I loved Kung Fu as a kid. I really did. The theme tune still in my head when he was walking across the desert. And it did have a massive impact. It really did. But obviously, Bruce is the man. From the publishers of Kung Fu Monthly again. Everybody, look at that. It's a great photo of Bruce. I love that. How much was this again? 95p. Wouldn't be 95p now, that's for sure. The wit and wisdom of Bruce Lee. I don't play the superhero, but the audience wants to make me one. That's a great image, that one. Great, great image. Again, I'll only have a flick through because I've got a lot to get through, but I'll have a proper look at these. These are proper 70s nostalgia books and take you back Angela Mao first lady of Kung Fu David Carradine again I quite liked him he's a shame the way he went out obviously the silent flute oh this is quite Chan Kane that was his name grasshopper this is lovely though isn't it I'm surprised you oh a Kung Fu quiz I wonder how I'd get on with that I never owned this one, that's for sure. Oh, the Bruce Lee treasure kit. I've got one of them off Carl Fox recently. Thanks, mate. This is marvellous. More books to the collection. Oh, I didn't even realise I picked that up. So I've got a little note here from Pete. Big fan of the channel. I'll read it later, mate. P.S. I'm a Bruce Lee fan myself. No kidding. I oh, know. I'll read the note later, mate. Thank you. So what we got here? Obviously, we've got a Ricky Baker, Bruce Lee, Game of Death photo collection. I don't have many books by Ricky Baker, to be honest with you. I've got the, uh, is it Chuck Jung? The photos from End of the Dragon. I've got three of them books. And I've got a Game of Death, like a soft book, back book, that um, featured the Redux. And because my name was mentioned in it, I did get myself a copy of that. So what are these, then? They look like um, miniature lobby cards. How'd you get in there? Oh. Opening stripe beam. Oh, mate, these are awesome. Look. Postcards. But they look like little lobby cards. So I love that photo of him and Chuck. Obviously, it wasn't in the Coliseum. It was a backdrop on Golden Harvest. Bruce and John T. Ben. Another classic photo. <laughs> Superb. These are great. Let's have a little look at the uh, Ricky Baker book. I'll put them back safely first. This is really kind of you, Pete. Really kind of you, mate. Like I said, um, I've got them smoky posters that I had that I never got rid of because I was a little bit discoloured. But they'll be going in the post over this weekend, mate, with my contact details. So we haven't got to just correspond in the comments on YouTube. I'll give you my email address, etc. Right, Game of Death photo collection by Rick Baker. Looks nice, though, doesn't it? <laughs> But normally they're just photo books. There's a little bit of text in them, but they're pretty much. <laughs> I stand corrected. <laughs> mm. Other books in the collection. Yeah, I've got. I think I've got a couple of them ones. The end of the dragon ones. They was okay. New territories. So, I mean, look at his physique. I thought he looked great. It was lean. It was a lean, mean fighting machine. Like I said, I'm not going to flip through all of it, mate, on here, because I've got other bits to... Do you know what? I don't think I've seen that picture of Kareem before. Just goes to show you, doesn't it? It always amazes me, that. 
that's a great picture. What's in that? Yeah, but as I said, look, mostly one photo per page, so there's a little bit of text. G Jun J. Okay. But it will go nicely next to the rest of me Ricky Baker books. Like I said, I don't have many of those. Pete, look at all this. You didn't have to do that, mate, but thank you so much. I really do appreciate it, pal. And like I said, I'll get something in the post for you, hopefully Sunday. So you should get it sometime next week. Thank you very much, pal. Pete Reynolds. Cheers, buddy. Right, the next package is from Mark Green. Mark did actually send me an email and he wanted me to read it out on the channel. Okay. Hi Stripey, I hope you're well mate. Please find enclosed the book Bruce Lee and Van Williams, a photographic retrospective, Trip to Malibu 1967 and Harry Martin interview 1966, limited to 25 books worldwide. Bonus QR code inside. Hardback, 152 pages, over 900 photos, 200 gram paper. Please do an unboxing and review of the book. Please let the fans know where to get the book and the cost is £90. Not bad for a book limited to £25 plus £6.90 postage and packing. My email for any fans who would like to order a copy is... I won't put his email address in there, but I'll link it in the description down below. I have many limited edition Bruce Lee books. I'll send you some photos and details. And if you can add the details of these books somewhere in your review, that would be great. I'm trying to offer new books to fans and also keep the legend that is Bruce Lee alive. Keep up the good work. Mark buys and sells Bruce Lee books, rare ones and stuff like that. Right, let's have a little look at this book, shall we? Let's have an unwrap and see what he sent me. This one's well packed, isn't it? One eternity later. Oh, that's nice. Let's have over the top of it. All right, so you sent me a letter in there. That is actually pretty tasty, look. Oh, yeah. I'll put, um, I'll put his details in the description down below. And I'll check that out in a little while, mate. What's this? A oh. couple of the Mark's cards. He was happy then, wasn't he? I know, quite an off weight, Sam. Quite a heavy old book. 25 books only. Private collector's item only. Feels good, but it's a, it's a heavy old book, this. All right, let's get in it. Only 25 well by that is, that's wild. I mean, there's limited edition and there's 25 books worldwide. So I would imagine it's gonna be a bit of a picture book, obviously. A photographic retrospective. It does look nice, people. I can't believe how heavy it is. Look at that. Do you like the look of that? Yeah. 25 well by it. That is wild. Right, let's have a little flip through some of the pages. Like I said, I'll stick, if you're interested in this sort of thing, and I know a lot of you are, I will stick Mark's email address uh, down below and then you can contact him yourself. 
photo shoot Van Williams and Bruce Lee on the beach the Harry Martin interview with Bruce Lee that's where he's wearing the braces and more than 800 photos from the 16mm scans of Harry Martin interview of Bruce Lee oh, I like that effect it looks like it's sort of like on a slightly bowed book these photos are sharp though got the world ahead of him young Bruce I know I haven't seen all these photos that's for sure what's in there well one like that actually I don't think I've actually seen that one similar Van Williams is a bit of a dude actually and they look like they got on great look at that muscles right as before with Pete's books I won't go for it oh oh wow it's pretty much got frame by frame every single photo of Bruce Lee talking in that Harry Martin interview so when he turns up on the bike like a big flip book yep there we go Bruce on the push bike look <laughs> wow it's a lovely looking book mostly a picture book obviously you know it just tells you the title at the top but this will be a nice little collector's piece I guess one day I'm going to have to get another bookshelf guys you know that don't you I really am Oh, so literally is every frame. Oh, and it's the, the QR code. That's crazy. Literally every frame. <laughs> Pretty good quality, too. The paper feels good, and the book weighs a ton. Thank you very much, Mark. It's a lovely piece to go with a collection. It's got a nice thick spine there. Like I said, I'll put Mark's email down below. If you want to get in touch, I don't know how many of these you've got left. I mean, 25 worldwide. That's crazy. Then you can. Mark Green, people. Thank you very much, buddy. I'll send on the message. And finally... This gift is from the Budgie 29. Look at that. I'm scared to open it because I feel like there's a person in there. <laughs> it's huge. You remember Budgie 29, he sent me the rare double album of the End of the Dragon soundtrack. It was his brother's. Mate. I'm shocked and stunned. I'm sorry it took me a while because this was the first one to be delivered last week. But I just haven't had the opportunity to undo it. So let's have a look inside the box. Sounds like a bit out of the movie 7, doesn't it? What's in the box? It weighs loads. All right, that's... I'll read that later mate, I will Careful how you take this out The spine is broken, enjoy What is this? Look Okay.
this is old very old so the spine is broken so let's have a little see if we can get in here properly this is very intriguing mate someone's kept this for a long time Oh, it has, it has broken. So what's in here? I don't think you can see that. What the hell is all this? Are you actually kidding me? Mate, what? Right, I'm just gonna put this satchel down here. Right. So we've got some smash hits. I remember smash hits, they used to have all the lyrics, didn't they? Disco. Right, so you've got a lot of smash hits and disco magazines from the the seventies. Ah, uh, right, okay. <laughs> Words. Proper seventies magazines, and this looks like a Bruce Lee section. So we've got some cutouts of Bruce that someone's obviously had on their wall. Taken from a magazine, some Bruce pictures there, look. All cutouts and all that. I'm gonna have to find a photo album for this lot. I don't know if you can see this properly. I'll try and move it so it's under the camera, but there's so much here. The voice of Bruce Lee. Oh, even someone's done a drawing of him. Oh, a couple of drawings of him. This is someone's treasures. This is. Now I've got to find somewhere for all this stuff. <laughs> wow. This is someone's proper treasures of Bruce. This is going to take ages for me to go through, mate, really. Look at all this stuff. The photographs and... There's all sorts in here. Look. Like that was taken out of a mag. Double sided posters. This is going to take me forever to get through. 
it really is. I'm going to have to try and file this somehow. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Because there's just so much. All in this just one... Fighters magazine. It's just loads of them. There is absolutely loads of fighters magazines here. Bruce Bloitation. Bruce on the back there. There's just loads of these fighters monthly. 50p. Not nowadays. This is unbelievable. Like I said, I'm going to have to spend a day sort of going through it and sort of filing it and putting it in some sort of order. Let's put them out there. I'm probably going to put them back in that case or something. And look at this. You know, I was thinking about collecting some Kung Fu monthly magazines. There's loads of them. There's just, there's literally loads of them. Yeah. And they're in really great shape considering how old they are. 40p. So, I'm actually speechless, which is pretty rubbish when you think I'm supposed to be rambling on here. I was going to do like videos of every time I got a Kung Fu monthly. Maybe one issue every month, possibly two. Look at this. Obviously Martin Shell started me off. He'd give me five of them. But now I've just been given shitloads of them. Excuse my French on a Sunday. And they're in amazing condition. Look at these. What am I supposed to say to this? I'm blown away. Number 32, look. I'm going to have to make something up so I can see how many I've got, because obviously there's not many left now. In mint condition, special collector's edition, this Kung Fu monthly. I did not expect this, mate. I really didn't. Look, 28. 25. 23. 21. You love that picture. Looks great, isn't it? Budgie. 29, mate. I'm, I, I'm so grateful. I mean, you could have literally just made a fortune on these. These go for quite a lot of money on eBay. They really do. Oh. And I'm telling you, the spines are great. We'd have been kept in that satchel for so long. They've just stayed in amazing shape. I mean, look. Look at that. Kung Fu Monthly 15, 14, 11. Well, it's actually got a price tag on there, 35p. I do not think so. Number 8. Number 7. That's old paper, that is. Six. Five. Love them photos. 25p. Oh, I've got a double here, look. Number four. 
number three. Mate. I'm speechless. I am absolutely speechless. You sat on a small fortune here. I'm just so grateful that you've just given to me. I don't know what to say. But thank you so much. I was going to start collecting Kung Fu monthlies, as you know. Look at that. And they're in amazing condition, considering how old they are. I'm blown away. I really am. I will put these in order. And I'm going to have to buy something to keep the Kung Fu monthlies in. To keep them as mint as possible. I, I mean, I won't be opening them up, I don't suppose. I do intend on getting the Carl Fox archive series if I want to read the articles within. I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much, mate. I mean, you, I was overwhelmed when you gave me your brother's album. But to give me all that, and all of these Kung Fu Monthly magazines, I'm blown away. I really, really am. Thank you. I don't really know what to say. Thank you very much. Wow. Right, so... This video has probably gone on a while, guys, and I'm going to need to sit through and sort all this lot out and try and put it in some sort of order. So I want to thank Peter Reynolds for them gifts, mate. Thank you very much. Mark for the book. Mark Green. And the Budgie 29. Mate, I'm speechless. Thank you very, very much. I really mean that. Right, guys. Um... I'm a little bit which ain't no good on it really um, I'm going away Monday for a few days but I've got the I've told you before I've got the Steve Kerridge interview going out Wednesday some point um, I haven't set it as a premiere I'm just going to release it on the day at some stage while we're away just to keep the algorithm going on YouTube I was going to release it already because you're ready to go um, Steve's seen it I'm a little bit numb budgie Cheers, pal. Pete. Mark. Thank you all. You're all so kind. I am humbled. Cheers, guys. Right, now I'm going to have to sort all this out. So, and try and edit all this together. Right. Come on, try me. Sort yourself out. I want to thank everyone who takes the time to comment on the videos. Thank you all very much. Thanks to my patrons. You guys are incredible. Sorry I haven't been very active on there lately. I do stick your name on the end of the credits. But I will endeavour to try and do more. It's just finding time to do everything. And hopefully the internet will be back on by the time we get back from our break. And I can get back into doing the comments video. I'm probably going to limit my videos to just two a week. I do try and do three a week, but that is a hell of a lot of work and time. And I'm actually thinking about doing a video in my own process and showing you the room that I film in and the, the process that I go through to make a video. So you appreciate how hard it is and how long it takes me to just do one. I may do that one soon, actually. Thank you all for your gifts. Thank you all for the emails and all that lot. I'm, I don't even know what to say. Thank you very much, but I'm blown away. I'm blown away by all these gifts today. Thanks, guys. Anyway, without me going on too much longer, have yourselves an amazing week, guys. Much love. And I'll be back with another ramble Wednesday. You take care now.